I walk beside the high priest, my heart swelling with reverence and pride. My family has served the sacred mountain site for generations, and today, as the first light bathes Machu Picchu in golden hue, I join in that tradition. The air is crisp with the scent of wildflowers, invigorating my senses as I step away from the dawn-drenched forest. Below me lies Machu Picchu, a marvel of stone. They crafted this, this city amidst lofty heights, a testament to ingenuity and devotion. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the world below the steps we traveled, I could see lines of people, old and young, going from the huts and either joining the simple festivities in the main square, while others carry the day's harvest of grains and fruit to join us in our journey down the stone path. I smile as I notice my own family join the throng in the square. My mother brought her soon-to-be world-famous chicha as a gift to the great Inti. I have teased her many times that the emperor himself will be coming to sample it and peer handsomely. She wasn't the only one in the village to bring the sacred drink, though. Today is no ordinary day. It is the most sacred day in my culture of offerings to Enti, the sun god. With the high priest and our alkaloids, we had ventured into the forest this morning, gathering cocoa leaves, cinnamon sticks, and corn, symbols of abundance and our gratitude. The village is quiet, as most have journeyed to the larger cities for the festivities. Only the elders and a few families remain, their commitment to tradition unwavering. The crisp mountain air invigorates me as I ascend the worn stone steps, each a silent testament to the generations who have walked this path before me. Today is the high priestess I would be assisting in leading the Inti Rami, Rami a sacred ceremony that binds us to our ancestors and the very lifeblood of our people. Moving past the intricately carved walls, we enter the residential zones. Here, the stone houses, sturdy and enduring, speak of a deep respect for community and kinship. Smoke curls from chimneys, promising warmth and the aroma of a shared meal, a simple act imbued with the significance of togetherness. This very act of sharing echoes the interconnectedness of all things, a philosophy that permeates our way of life. Reaching the terrace slopes, sunlight glints off the meticulously tended fields, each level a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. These are not mere plots of land. They are intricate tapestries woven into the mountainside, defying gravity and yielding life-sustaining crops. The offerings we carry are not mere tokens, but expressions of gratitude for the sun's nurturing embrace, for our Inti's divine providence. As we further prepare for the Inti Rami ceremony, I take a moment and observe the various offerings strewn across the stone altar ahead. Cocoa leaves are carefully chosen for their purity and potency each one holding special foods and chicha, a fermented corn beverage, lovingly prepared with each ingredient infused in symbolism and meaning. Upon entering the main square ourselves, the crowd hushed in anticipation for what the high priest will say for this year's blessing. He waved on the celebration as the sun hadn't reached its peak yet. Our grand procession towards the Temple of the Sun is a sight to behold. Despite our morning travel among the forests surrounding Machu Picchu, each alkaloid, as well as me and the high priest, were elaborately dressed participants. Some of the alkaloids played traditional music while we walked, and others carried ceremonial objects, creating a vibrant tapestry of colors and sounds. The crowd lining the path cheered and celebrated, their collective faith palpable in the air. Walking alongside the high priest and other officials, I carry one of the more significant offerings. As we ascend towards the temple, my heart is filled with awe and humility, 
knowing that this ritual connects us to centuries of tradition and spirituality. As we gather at the Temple of the Sun for the grand ceremony, the air is alive with anticipation and reverence. The assembled crowd, dressed in vibrant hues of oranges, reds, blues, and golds, adds to the festive atmosphere. Other priests adorn in their finest attire, with sun-like headdresses symbolizing Inti's radiance, stand ready to assist in leading the ceremony. With a nod from the high priest, a whoosh sounded as the ceremonial fire burned brightly, its flames dancing with an otherworldly grace, reminding each of us of our place in the grand design. The faces of the participants reflect a mix of awe, devotion, and hope for a bountiful harvest in the coming year. The ensemble silenced as the high priest raised his hand. Raised his hand. What was once a vibrant and rowdy people became a hushed crowd hanging on every word that came from him. I couldn't help but look at him in awe. Not just for his role in our community, but for the invisible thread that connected him to the countless high priests who stood in this very spot for generations. He spoke of Inti's light not just as a physical force that nurtured our crops, but as a symbol of hope and resilience. He spoke of our ancestors, the mighty ones who built this magnificent city in the clouds, and how their legacy continues to inspire people from all corners of our world. A thrill ran through me. Even though I couldn't have known it then, Machu Picchu, this place, steeped in ritual and tradition, would one day become a beacon for a different kind of pilgrimage. People would come from afar, not just to witness its architectural marvel, but to try and rediscover the importance of the very thing we, things we celebrate today. Community, harmony, and nature. Harmony with nature and the enduring spirit of our ancestors. My great friends of this mountain citadel we call home, he continued, I welcome you to another celebration in honor of the one who provides us with great life and prosperity. As is custom, today we celebrate in Tirami, the Incan New Year, with a sense of excitement and purpose. Remember, this day is not just about the rituals. It's about honoring the past, embracing the present, and looking to the future with hope. Machu Picchu is a spiritual beacon, a place where the divine meets the earthly, where gratitude and reverence converge. Today, as we make our offerings, I remind all of you of the connection to this land and its eternal significance in our lives. Here on the sacred ground, we raise our offerings, our voices weaving prayers for bountiful harvests and a thriving people. The smoke from our incest carries incense carries our hopes aloft a bridge between this earthly realm and the divine a testament to the enduring bond between humanity nature and the radiant sun god nt as the high priest continues to lead the ceremony i offer my prayers and gratitude to nt in silence seeking blessings for our community and the land we cherish the winter solstice marks not only the longest night, but also the promise of Inti's return, bringing renewed warmth to our crops. After the sacred witch roll is complete, the high priest raises his hands, and soon the rhythmic beats of traditional music fill the air once again as celebratory dances commence. A joyful ex each dance a joyful expression of our connection to the nature and divine. After the solemn rituals for each family, we gather in the main square for feasting, sharing stories, and strengthening the bonds that unite us all. As the day progressed in the evening, I wondered about our future and what adventures life would have in store for me. Little did I know that several centuries later would... Sorry. <laughs> Little did I know that several centuries would pass before this place would again play a significant role in the world. Despite the passage of centuries, Machu Picchu remained a beacon of cultural heritage. 
Um, and remains a beacon of cultural heritage, reminding us of the resilience and wisdom of those who came before us. In modern times, it serves as a bridge between past and present, inviting us to honor traditions by incorporating their essence into our modern rituals. Even the most seemingly ordinary practices can hold echoes of the past. The morning cup of coffee, for instance, might reflect ancient tea ceremonies focused on mindfulness and connection. Our birthday celebrations with cake and candles have roots in fire rituals symbolizing purification and renewal. However, these rituals are as different as the people who use them. The coffee ritual might involve a quick brew and a solo commute, or a leisurely latte shared with friends. Birthday celebrations can range from boisterous parties to quiet reflections. In the little fantasy I wrote above, I hope we find a profound lesson. The value of preserving our heritage through these adopted and adapted rituals while embracing the opportunities of the future. Machu Picchu continues to inspire awe and wonder, reminding us of the timeless beauty and significance of our shared history, even as it evolves through our modern interpretations. And I, for one, look forward to seeing just how much more we can discover about Machu Picchu. Have a great day, guys, and I hope this enlightened your inner spark.